let's go ahead and just spend a few minutes talking a little bit about platform as a service. And platform as a service is one of the three common, you know, cloud models that we have. And of course, you have to always start with infrastructure service, kind of the core component uh, within the environment. Actually, not always, but there's some sort of infrastructure as a service underneath it. Whether they call it infrastructure service is a different uh, different story altogether. But there's some sort of infrastructure running underneath every cloud, right? And this is going to be things like, you know, your servers, you know, your storage, your network. These are just core tenants within the cloud environment. And of course, uh, you have to have some sort of uh, security within the environment to protect yourself against, you know, viruses, malware, vulnerabilities, things like that. That's a keyhole, by the way, that I just dorked up. But uh, that's it. You know, you got firewalls, things of that nature. So that's kind of software, uh, excuse me, infrastructure service. But where does platform as a service really play in this model? Well, platform as a service, similar to, uh, excuse me, looks like I'm drawing a pill there. Similar to um, software as a service, layers on top of the hypervisor. So everything's up on top. This environment here really represents uh, the hypervisor. So hypervisor kind of gives that virtualization that we need. So platform as a service builds on top of this. Of course, within platform as a service, you're going to have some sort of network operating system. And then you're going to have some sort of development environment. And platform as a service is usually something that developers will use. So, for example, um, you know, maybe it'll be a Drupal environment or an Azure environment. And hopefully I'm spelling those right. Uh, these would be development tools that become very easy. Some of the primary advantages uh, to a platform as a service environment, let's kind of move this over and kind of some of those uh, key tenants or advantages that you may hear related to, whoa, look at that, isn't that cool? Okay, related to platform as a service uh, may be, um, you know, just the provisioning and deprovisioning of resources. This is a big thing, right? I want to be able to spin up a server for one day, you know, within this environment, and then destroy it afterwards. So that's a huge plus for a software environment. The other thing about platform as a service is this is really kind of the prep stage to move into software as a service. So this is where a lot of your test and dev type of work related to, of course, the software infrastructure, software as a service, is done. That is platform as a service is what we've been talking about here. Oftentimes it's not unreasonable um, for people to get platform and software as a service confused. The key thing to remember here is that typically platform as a service is a preparatory state for software as a service and it's usually for the development community, somebody who is writing applications and software.